people love waffles. The internet is full of all kinds of different waffle recipes. Whole restaurant chains are devoted to the waffle. Whether it's chicken and waffles, Waffle House, Nordic waffles, people really do love waffles. However, some waffles might serve a better purpose than others. And I've never seen anyone make an aluminum waffle, so I decided to make a new recipe and make aluminum waffles. What looks like powdered sugar is actually powdered limestone, and that'll help the waffle release from the sand mold I put it in. I use a mulling machine to help prepare the oil-based sand called Petrobond. I sprinkle an even coating all over the surface to capture the detail of the waffle. Once it's covered, I pack it down till the sand becomes hard and rigid. There's a little bit of an overhang, so I'll dig down to the seam of the waffle iron just so the waffle will not get trapped in the sand and it'll come out just like it would when you're baking it. I'll spread some more powdered lime over it just to make sure the sand doesn't stick to itself and I can take both halves of the mold apart freely. I'll do the same process to the other side. Whoops, this waffle decided to break in half, but I guess they're designed to do that. It'll be okay. I'll remove the half of the waffle, but I see some of the sand squares got stuck. I'll do my best to put those back into place. If I do it right, you won't even notice. And I'll do the same thing with the other half. I'll carve channels into the sand with a copper pipe that'll allow the metal to flow into the space of the waffle. I'll carve some extra channels just in case I need them. I'll be melting a homemade bar of aluminum. Once the furnace is lit, it doesn't take that long for aluminum to melt. I'm used to melting bronze and I typically tend to overheat my aluminum, but as long as I don't overdo it, it'll still work. It's a good thing I carved extra channels because my first channel plugged off and I had to go to the second one to finish the pour. The smoke is from the oil in the sand. I should have been more patient and let it cool down more, but I was excited to see how it turned out. At least snow is good for something, cooling hot metal. I'm personally not really a fan of the stuff, in case you didn't notice. Once it's cooled down, I'll cut off the sprues and get it all cleaned up. I'm starting to feel like I could do the Great British Bake Off. This would be a heck of a showstopper, I'm sure. I'd love to know what the judges would say when they saw this on their plate.
This was a fun experiment. I didn't know if it would work, but I think it did. Let me know who you think makes the best waffles and what I should try to cast next. I like experimenting. Don't forget to check out some of my other videos and come on back to the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.